All right, so in the last video, we took a look at the three uh, basic characteristics of a wave, the amplitude, the wavelength, and the frequency. So now let's take a look at how those three properties can change and how they relate to each other with the different colors of light, okay? So anytime we talk about light, anytime, say, astronomers measure light, there has to be a source of that light. Um, so our go-to source is a light bulb, at least to explain this concept. So let's draw a stereotypical light bulb, right? An incandescent light bulb to be exact. So incandescent light bulbs have a glass bulb that surrounds a very thin metal filament strung across two holders, right? That's a very, very thin, delicate piece of metal. And electricity is fed in one end, passes across that thin metal filament, and out the other side, right? That completes the electric circuit. And what happens as the electricity flows across the metal is that it heats up that metal to thousands of degrees, right? Which is the temperature of some stars. So that's incredibly hot. That effect is manifested in the form of light, right? That's how these light bulbs, well, produce light. They glow, right? Specifically, the filaments glow. And the type of light that we see, to our eyes, it appears a, a pale yellow, right? That's because our eyes are most sensitive to yellow. But what's really going on is that when that light bulb glows, right, we see all colors of the visible part of the spectrum. We don't necessarily notice all colors, but we see them. They're in there. And we call that light white light, because it's comprised of all the different, what we know as colors. And so if we were to somehow break up that white light into the constituent colors, say if we put a prism, right, in front of the white light, like on Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon, if you don't know what that is, stop this video right now and go watch that, then come back. If we were to somehow break up the white light into the colors, we would see well, let's go thick. We'd see red light, right? And then next, we'd see orange light. Next, we'd see yellow light, even though you can barely see it on, on this. After yellow, we'd see green. After green, we'd see blue. And after blue, we'd see indigo or violet, which is just basically purple, right? These are all colors of light, right? What we've come to define as a color, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, or violet, okay? But really, they're just very specific forms of light. And I've drawn them as arrows, but let's take a little closer look as to what they actually are, right? Each of these arrows are actually waves. So on this slide here, what I'm going to draw is, crudely draw, is or are examples of various colors of light, right? Red, green, and blue. I have the low energy, medium energy, and high energy, respectively, from top to bottom, okay? So an example of a red light wave, let's go that one. I'm going to draw one wavelength in this space, okay? That's one wavelength of a low energy red light. And so let's put low energy, okay? Next with green, in the middle, green has slightly higher energy than red. And remembering back to the relationship between energy, frequency, and wavelength, right, from your textbook, Green has higher energy because it has a shorter wavelength. So I'm going to draw that shorter wavelength as one half of reds. Okay, so now green has a wavelength of, well, let me just go ahead and draw it. Above here, red had...
this as the wavelength, okay? Now green has this distance as its wavelength, okay? It's one half of what red's wavelength is because green has slightly higher energy, what I'll write as medium energy. And so now, comparing green and red to, to blue, let's see what blue has, right? Blue has even smaller wavelengths, and so it has to have a higher energy. So I'm going to try and manifest it as like this. Two, three, four. Close enough, right? So notice now the wavelength for blue is only this far, right? That distance is half of the distance of green's wavelength, right? Up there. And the blue wavelength is only one quarter the wavelength for red. Oh, crap. It's only one quarter the wavelength of red. So what's happened overall is that as we've decreased the wavelength, right, the energy has increased. What about the frequency? What do you think the frequency has done? What's the relationship there, right? Remember, the relationship is that energy is related to or proportional to one over the wavelength, which means that as the wavelength value gets bigger and bigger, this fraction overall gets smaller and smaller. Thus, the energy gets smaller and smaller. And that's exactly what's happening as you go, say, upwards on this page. If you go down, the wavelength is getting smaller and smaller, and so this fraction overall is getting bigger and bigger, and we see a higher value for energy. Um, a good example is 1 over 1 equals 1. 1 over 10 equals 0 0.1. And then 1 over 100 equals 0 0.01. So what's happening as the bottom number is getting bigger and bigger, right? This decimal overall is getting smaller and smaller. And that's exactly the inverse relationship we see here between wavelength and energy, okay? So now, I mentioned frequency. Well, what's the relationship between energy and frequency? Well, energy is directly proportional to frequency. In other words, if frequency were to increase, the energy increases, and vice versa. And that's exactly what's happening as we go down this page. Right? The wavelength is decreasing, but the frequency is increasing. So let me draw that relationship. So let's see. Let's, let's do this a little bit better, actually. So energy, whoops. So energy is increasing this way, down, right? Let's see, what else is increasing that way? Frequency. And what's decreasing as we go down? The wavelength. So I'll draw that over here. Oops. Wavelength is increasing that way, so we'll draw it like that, okay? And this is the relationship that you should know, right? The energy of a, a, a wave of light is inversely proportional to its wavelength and directly proportional to the frequency, okay? Thanks for watching.